name is Mikael Graham and I'm here representing Heli Direct and today we're going to be talking about how I determine whether or not a blade is safe to fly. So if you've been in this hobby for a while, it's just a matter of time before you crash or maybe you have a screw come loose and hit your blades. Um, during a crash, you may not always break both blades and so that blade that survives, should you fly it? If you get a little nick on the blade, should you retire the blade, should you retire the set? All of that is to be determined. I'm going to share with you how I determine or not a blade is good to go. But before we get started, I have to, of course, let you know this disclaimer. Um, you and you alone are responsible for the safe operation of your helicopter. Neither myself nor Heli Direct will be held or can be held responsible for the decisions you make to fly your helicopter in any condition that it may be in. Again, you and you alone are responsible for the safe operation of your helicopter. With that said, I'm going to share with you my ways of determine, determining whether or not a blade is safe to fly. So with that said, let's get started. So let's start with the obvious. Most blades today have a safety wire running the length of the blade. So first and foremost, if you are able to see that wire, the blade is done. Chances are it's broken, flopping around, you're not flying that blade. The purpose of the safety wire is to prevent the blade from breaking apart into multiple separate pieces. pieces. Um, it's very rare that a blade actually breaks into separate pieces, but it does happen. Again, if you're able to see the safety wire, then the blade's done. If you're able to see inside the core, the foam of the blade, the blade is done. So when determining whether or not a blade is good to fly, there are two main categories that I look at. The first category is just visual inspection, look for visual damage, things such as nicks or cracks, things that are very easy to see. The second category, which is more important to the performance and safety of the helicopter, is the structural integrity. And I'm going to show you how I determine the structural integrity of a blade. And to do that, I will be bringing in my assistant. All right, everyone, so this is my assistant, Katie. Say hi. Hi. All right, so to get started, we have a couple of blades here, and what I want you to do, Katie, is choose the blade that you think is the most obviously damaged. All right. Well, they're all used. Obvious. Obvious. Obviously damaged. I think this one, it has something going on. All there. right. Yeah, this one is definitely, this is damaged. Um, my assistant is going to bring the camera up. So, as you guys can see, we have a pretty significant nick here. I actually remember this blade and what happened. Basically, a canopy mount had come off and struck the blade. So at first glance, so now my assistant's back. So at first glance, you think, oh man, the leading edge. Mind you, the leading edge is the most important part of, of the blade. This is where all the strength of the blade comes from. But even though we have obvious damage here, believe it or not, I would actually still fly this blade. And I actually did fly this blade for a while. Um, we are seeing a little bit of the carbon fiber, so what you would do, what I would do here is add a few drops of CA, but the way I would check whether or not this blade is safe to fly is remember the structural integrity. Do you remember that? I believe Professor Graham explained it once, but please explain it again. Okay, thank, thank, thank you, <laughs> assistant. Um, so, the way I test for the structural integrity, you want to take the ends of the blade, the root and the tip, and you want to try to bend it, all right? Now, blades are typically very stiff. Some blades are stiffer than others, but generally speaking, it should take some good effort to bend. That's the first test. The next test, and this is arguably the most subtle and most important, is the twist. This is your torsional test. So, when a blade has been compromised, what will happen is when you twist or bend, you'll actually hear the foam inside. So this blade, believe it or not, I would still fly this blade. Okay. So, now with that said, why don't you pick one of the blades that 
does not look damaged. Okay, so these, I mean, they're all used, obviously, but these don't look damaged. This won't be taken too long. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't find it. <laughs> This one feels so light. I don't it know, does. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, so this is um, this is an old Helix 695 blade. This is a tri-blade. Um, if you look at this, actually, visually, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this blade at all. Like, it looks great. But, assistant, would you mind bringing the camera closer? So, helix blade. Now, what I want to do, remember, bend. Oh, you're a little something. Let's go a little bit closer. Yeah. Ah, so it feels good, but that sound, it's not good. And so now, let's do the torsional test. That's bad. That's really, really bad. So even though, so let's have a closer look. What happened here, the trailing edge split. Even though the rest of the blade is perfectly fine, because of the trailing edge split here, the structural integrity has been compromised. So this blade is done. Even if you put CA in here, you'll never get that strength back. Waiting on my assistant to return. It's large. All right, now we're gonna do we're gonna do two more blades. Um, let's see. Well, what about this one? This one has damage here. I didn't really understand why. Yes. So this is a similar situation to the previous blade. Honestly, little damage on the trailing edge is actually okay. As I actually, my assistant will bring the camera close. Um, here, we have the VTX blade. There's actually a little bit of a little bit of damage right here. A little bit of crack. You can just kind of see the crack right here in the light, perhaps. It's a little bit of a crack right here. But as I mentioned, structural integrity is everything. So this little damage on the trailing edge, it's okay. This is this is fine. This is okay. I would fly this, I have been flying this, have no issues. And also, I want to point out, because this is a used set of blades that I got, uh, got a bit of damage from bean stocks. Perfectly, this blade is perfectly fine. Leading edge, the structural integrity, everything's good here. But if we go back to this blade, where we see this, you would think, hey, this is at the root. Um, this part of the blade doesn't produce that much lift, but we do that structural test. It's good. It sounds great in bending. I hear no sound in bending, but when we twist, very subtle, you can hear the foam. And when you can hear that foam, the blade's done. All right. All right. So now, with my assistant here, so these blades are obviously no good, but the rest of these I will still fly. So these particular blades, these are single blades, meaning the other blade, the other pair was broken in a crash. But if you look at them, and I don't need to zoom in, there is no visual damage to them whatsoever. Do you see any damage? That looks almost, looks brand, almost new. brand new, right? Yeah. You check the integrity, or I check the integrity, I check the bending, I this is a solid blade. If I get another blade and pair it up, I would fly this. Same thing here. This was in a crash, got a little dirty, but do you see, you see any damage? No. Nope. And again, we check the integrity, bend, this blade is good, all right? So, with that said, again, disclaimer, you and you alone are responsible for the safe operation of your helicopter. 
these are the things that I do to determine whether or not a blade is safe to fly. So with that said, I want to say thank you. Thank you to my assistant who insisted on being in here. Um, you guys have a great day. Enjoy flying. Of course, go to Heli Direct for all of your helicopter needs. And when you do break a set, get your sets at Heli Direct. And with that, thanks for watching. Heli Direct!